everybody, welcome back to the vlog. Um, today I thought I'd do something just a little bit different. Um, I'm ha it's halfway through January and what I thought I would do today is do a pattern review for you. So um, the pattern that I'm reviewing this month is Simplicity 1801 which is a Cynthia Rowley pattern. It's this pattern here. Okay, and this is a pattern that I've had in my stash for quite a while. So I've not actually sewn it up before. So I thought that I would have a go at that this month and talk to you about what I thought about it, how it's worked out, any problems I had, that kind of thing. And I just thought you might be interested. So I'm actually wearing the dress, the completed dress now, which is here. Um, I will put a few photographs into this video so that you can have a look at it in a bit more detail but I'm absolutely thrilled to bits with how this dress has turned out. I think it just looks absolutely gorgeous. I feel lovely in it. Um, the fabric is a Lady McElroy cotton lawn fabric that I purchased from Fabric Godmother. I will put a link to it down below. I do believe that it's still available um, and it is just beautiful, really buttery soft. Um, I got it a couple of months back when Fabric Godmother were offering a discount one weekend and yeah I got about I think I got three meters of it and this dress is um, ankle length on me well just above my foot and, and I am five foot eleven inches tall so I needed practically all of all of the fabric to do this um, dress so the this dress basically this pattern okay is designed for woven fabrics so it suggests fabrics such as cottons, a lightweight sateen, silks and silk types, crepes, uh, georgette, satin, etc. Lightweight linens, rayons, viscose, that kind of thing. As I say, I've used a cotton lawn. Um, there are four, is it four versions? No, three versions. Three versions of the dress that you can make. I'll just show you the back of the envelope so you can have a look. I don't know if that's showing up there. Um, but basically, you can do a sort of knee length version with sleeves, um, a top version that's more like a tunic and then a long version and I've done this one here, the blue, in the blue. Originally I was going to put sleeves on but then I changed my mind. Now obviously it's January here in the UK, it's been pretty cold recently and this is really not appropriate for this time of year but um, I wanted to get this fabric sewn up, it's been sat, sat in my stash for a couple of months um, and I really wanted to get it done so yeah. Um, it's um it's great so i'll tell you a little bit more about the pattern basically it's it's not lined it's an unlined um dress and it has a facing around the neckline um gathers into a little bit of a yoke that's just up here i'm not sure if you can see that um so there's some gathering that just goes into the yoke at the top here and there's a yoke the yoke is goes over over to the back there's some gathering up into the back piece around here and the same at the front here so that obviously provides room for your bust rather than having darts which is quite nice and then um, another piece that's attached here which the top um, bodice is attached to and then the skirt is just a it's a simple gathered skirt um, that attaches to the bottom of the midriff piece here um, now the fabric does have pockets which is fantastic um, I love pockets in dresses it's great to just obviously stick your hands in like this and you can keep a few bits and pieces in there as well um, it's got a side zip concealed zip which has gone in obviously under my arm from here all the way down to about just past the pocket this is actually the first time that I've inserted inseam pockets into a dress with a zip at the side um, so that was new to me and it was um, uh, the instructions about how to do that were actually quite straightforward um, now the only thing that I wasn't um, I sort of stumbled with on this dress was the front yoke uh, sorry no the facing that goes onto the v-neck piece at the front here um, it the actual facing piece didn't fit the neckline now I don't know whether I just messed up totally or whether it was an error in in the drafting I, I, I really don't know to be honest I am going to make this dress again because I absolutely love it um, but 
yeah the facing itself just didn't fit this neckline the facing when I'd sewn that together was too short so I did check the sizes and everything and it was the, the size that it was the right size that I'd cut out so I, I really don't know where, where I went wrong but what I had to do was actually lower the neckline a little bit more to work with the facing um, I think I've got away with it I'm not completely happy with how this V sits um, there's a few little puckers there but that's my fault I don't think that's a, a problem with the pattern at all um, so all in all I'm really happy with this dress I do think if you're a confident beginner it's worthwhile having a go at the instructions as I say are really really simple and straightforward um, there was nothing that really um, confused me at all and I think it probably took me um, about three or four hours in total from obviously pinning out the pieces cutting the fabric out and then sewing it all together and putting the zip in um, I have hand stitched the hem at the bottom I don't know if you can see that I'll just show that there yeah, so I've just simply turned it over and hand stitched it. I actually got a pair of pinking shears for Christmas um, and I've used those on this on this fabric rather than my overlocker. Um, and the other thing, the, the sleeve heads, what I've done around the shoulders is I've just, I made some um, bias binding out of the fabric and um, basically used that to line um, finish off the edges of the sleeves here so so yes I'm really happy with it so I'm hoping that I can obviously wear this in summer and spring when we get a few warmer days obviously it's not ideal to be wearing at this time of year here in the UK but really really happy with this dress um yeah so um the I do have a um we've got a wedding coming up well it's an evening do that we're going to in a couple of weeks and so I'm thinking about wearing this to that to be honest but don't know whether it's seasonally appropriate or whether I should choose something different but yeah I am going to make this again I think probably next time I'm going to make the version with the sleeves and maybe make the tea dress length um, but yeah have a go at this it's a great pattern what else can I say so that's it for today, a quick video um, that I thought I'd show you this. My next video will be coming up in probably a couple of weeks time where I've been really, really active this month so far. I had a week off work last week, so I have got a lot of things sewn up already in January. So I'm really, really pleased with how January has, has worked out for me so far. So yeah, um, look forward to seeing you again soon in my next video. All right then, bye guys.